Here's another thing Google's working on, turning YouTube into a shopping destination. This seems like an absolute no-brainer. So many people watch product content on YouTube. I think we have some experience with that, Will, where they're looking at a product and the way it is right now, it's, well, you go to Amazon or there's an Amazon link in the description for the product that the person's watching and then they go and maybe do more research over there. Well, if you're Google, are you happy with that? We send everyone to Amazon? Yeah. We, 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 we provide Amazon, all these customers. They try. They do Google Shopping stuff. And, of course, they have other retailers that pay for advertising to try to get you on their store. Uh-huh. But meanwhile, they got these stinking YouTubers sending everyone to Amazon, mm. forgetting where their bread is buttered. And you got Susan over there, and you got whoever else at YouTube, and uh. maybe even got the Google guy sitting there saying, uh. Sundar might be in there saying, No! Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. These guys, do, we did all the hard work over here on the YouTube side. Let's partake. Uh-huh. Let's get the retailers involved. Let's build the experience. Where's the home shopping network for the future? Where is that? It's not happening yet. Now, in other markets, Will, I don't know if you heard about this, the like live stream shopping in China and things like this. Yeah. It's happening. Yeah. With their uh, TikTok equivalent. Shopping's nuts there. You got the guy, remember the guy was selling the, the produce. No, the guy was selling the produce. Oh. The farmer. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a guy in China that's uh, really big. Kind of like a James Charles. Oh, yeah. No, they got, got all those. Makeup. They got all those. Yeah. But I'm saying even a small time guy, he was selling the produce, oranges or apples or something. Uh. And he's live streaming and people are putting in their orders on the live stream. Yeah. To a local farmer who then is essentially using it like a food delivery app or something. Uh, He's taking orders in the live stream. And he became a celebrity on the produce. The farmer. That's very streamlined. It's great. Yeah, because it's all happening right there. And so why should it? all these different pieces need to be applied to it? Now, if you're Amazon, you got to be thinking... They, they kind of have to do the same thing that the other one is not. So Google says, well, we don't have the shopping piece, so let's take the assets we have and try to enhance the shopping experience. Meanwhile, Amazon has to sit there and say, we don't have the content piece. Yeah. When it comes to product-based content, it's all on YouTube. Yeah. So we need to add that. So then this is the entire destination for that. Uh-huh. It's a race right now. So anyway, the uh, Google is, they haven't said exactly what they're going to do but it's a new type of integration that they're experimenting with, with e-commerce platform Shop, uh, Shopify, which is huge. Shopify, I'm using for later case, tremendous uh, uh, service, application, whatever you want to call it, service, application, all of the above, uh, streamlined. And it just, I mean, if you're selling things online, you should, and you're not using Shop, like you should know about Shopify, pretty much. It's that straightforward. And so it's an integration that would allow for a pop-out kind of a thing, which could show the products and you could quickly uh, click through and purchase a couple of clicks. Yeah. But the whole experience feels like it's inside of YouTube. Now you could imagine eventually, Will, I mean, I'm just pontificating. Eventually what it is, your credit card, everything, your address, it's all in YouTube Mm. and you just click order. Yeah. It's tied to your Google account, really. You just click order, yep. and it's on its way, and you didn't have to go anywhere or do anything. Yeah. And you could have limited editions and limited runs, and when you're doing product research, mm-hmm. it's very, I don't know, Will. There's a lot of potential. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying they could make a few bucks. We'll wait and see how that goes down. But you know what's good, Will? <laughs> when somebody makes a few bucks... But it's actually better for the customer as well. Yeah. In other words, the customer gets to skip steps, do something easier or better. Yeah. Good stuff. Streamlined. 